Do you want to play with blocks? No. Do you want to sing a song? No. Do you want to play dress up? No. Come on, let's play the story of the little red hen. Please, we'll make a perfect cat. Please, please. Okay. Yummy. Let's eat. You didn't help me plant the grains. You didn't help me harvest the wheat. You didn't help me carry, grind, or bake. But now you want to eat? Meow. I did all the work myself, and now I will eat myself. So the little red hen ate, for she was hungry from her hard work. Cat helped her friend plant more grain, and together they baked lots more bread to share. And, and they, they both lived happily ever after. The end. Do you want to bake something else together? Sure. Let's make a cake with pumpkin in it. Pumpkin Yum. is so good in cake. This is going to be delicious. Okay. We could add some um, vegetable too to make it really healthy. Yeah, very healthy. I really like this red brick. 
It matches my shirt. How cool. This blue one is really awesome. I love the way that it's just in the middle. Okay, okay guys, we need to build a just really better. tall skyscraper. We just better not knock it down. Hi. Our tower. It's okay. Let's build it again while we play the three little pigs. The three little pigs? Yeah. Here, I'll be Mama Pig. And you'll be my three kids. One, two, three. Little pigs, you're not little anymore. It's time for you to build houses of your own. Oh, Mama, I'll miss you. A house of my own? Sounds great. Now, be sure to build strong, safe houses and watch out for the big bad wolf. That big old bully will try to gobble you up. Goodbye, piggies, and good luck. Bye. 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 Okay, I'll be the pig who makes my house out of straw. But we don't have straw. Oh. Then I'll use this blanket. Come on, help me. There we go. All done. How fast was that? Now I some time to relax. See you later, piggies. Bye. I don't think that fort looks very sturdy. Do you? I think I'll make my house out of that cardboard box. But that's a box. That's OK. I'll draw the sticks on. This is my house of sticks. It's way stronger than my brother's, and it didn't even take that long to make. See ya, sister. Come visit anytime. Now you can be the pig who... Makes their house out of bricks. Yeah. Here, I'll help you. And I build a strong house that will never come down. That's right. But as the three little pigs began to enjoy their new houses, they started to hear scary rumors that the big bad wolf had come to town. Ow! Mmm, I smell pigs. I bet there's a little pig in here. Little pig, little pig. Let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> ah! Help! 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 Little pigs, little pigs. Let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in! Oh! <gasps> ah, help! 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 help. help. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in! Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! <gasps> <gasps> Why won't this house fall down? Because this house is made by strong bricks that will never come down. <laughs> Ouch! Go away, bully, and never bother us again. So the big bad wolf went away and never came back again. And the little pig showed her sister and brother how to make strong houses that will never come down. And they all lived happily ever after. The, the end. end. Hey guys, I want to build a really big castle. <laughs> I want to build like a super, super tall tower. Let's do it. Sounds like fun. I'll help. <laughs> I'm the blue ones. Welcome to the
the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we will be performing the story of Little Miss Muffet. I will be playing the role of Little Miss Muffet. I'm going to be the spider. I'm going to be the tuffet. Aw, uh, don't be so sad about it. You're a very important part of the story. I want it to be Blinkin' Monster. But Blinkin' Monster isn't in the story, and we really need someone to be the tuffet. Fine. Well, without further ado, places, everybody! Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds away. Yum! Tastes like vanilla yogurt. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. Hiya! Ah! And frightened Miss Muffet away. Thanks, spider. No problem. Want some curds and whey? Now pass. Take a break. Want to play the princess in the pea? Yeah! Cool. Crowns. Thanks, your majesty. Of course, princess. But it's way past your bedtime. I guess I need a bed. Here! Don't forget a pillow. Right to bed, princess. Oh, and one more thing. Night, Dad! Good night. Dad? Dad! Yes, what is it? I can't fall asleep. But it's late. I mean, my pet bear cub. Okay. Roar! Here you go. Now close your eyes. Sure, Dad. Good night. Good night. Dad? Yes? I can't get comfortable. What are you saying to me? OK, sure. skid a rinky dinky dink skid a rinky do I love you. skid a rinky dinky dink skid a rinky do I love you. I love you and... Hey! You're supposed to be relaxing. I am! Go to sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night. Dad? What is it now? Can you read me a bedtime story? Fine, but then you have to go to sleep. I have a kingdom to rule in the morning. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Dad, can the cat play fiddle? I don't know, dear. The cow jumped over the moon. Dad, there's no way a cow could jump over the moon. Just listen, OK? The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. That story's ridiculous. Oh. 
fall asleep. Dad? Dad, I found a pea! Aww. Good night, Dad! Hey! And that's our story! Of the princess and the pea. The, the end. end! Hey, what should we play next? Let's play marbles! I got a big marble. I got a small marble. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, swimming in the sea. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, calling out to me. Mermaid singing in the sea. Sha la la la, sha la la li. Mermaid singing in the sea. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, combing down her hair. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, a crown of pearls to wear. Do you wish to be a fish with shiny scales upon your tail? Or by chance, you long to dance to music sweet on girly feet. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, swimming in the sea. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, calling out to me. Sha la la la, sha la la li. Mermaid singing in the sea. Sha la la la, sha la la li. Mermaid singing in the sea. Mary, catch! Johnny! Mary? Johnny, are you okay? Mary won't play with me. Hmm. How about we play a game that everyone will enjoy? Let's play the rhyming game! I want to play! I don't know. You can each choose a word to rhyme with. Johnny, do you want to pick first? Uh... Ooh, I know, car. That's a great rhyming word. What about you, Mary? I want to rhyme with the word fun. Let's get ready to play. Booga, booga. Here comes a word that rhymes with car or fun. Sun. That rhymes with fun. Sun and fun. Great job. Here comes the next one. St uh, R. That rhymes with k R. Great rhyming. My turn. My turn. OK. Here comes the other one. Home run. This one is hard. Let's sound it out, Johnny. O N R A N K R. I don't think those sound the same. Now let's try fun. O N R A N F A N. Home run and fun rhyme. I'm tired. I need to rest. One more time. Please, I have a new word. Okay, one more time. What's your word? Ooga rhymes with booga. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, guess what? What? 
is it? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Huh? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? That little finger on my right. Oh! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let her go? Because I bit his finger so. And which finger did you bite? That little finger on the right. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. No, not scary enough. Maybe he needs crazy hair. And big ears. Trolls definitely have big ears. Ready? Roar! I'm a big scary troll. Eh, I guess you're a little scary. I think he's perfect. Let's play. Okay, so where did three Billy Goats grow up? Uh, guys, don't we need a bridge? Oh, right. Will this work? Perfect. Awesome, but you'd better be ready. Goats, we've eaten all the grass in our meadow. And I'm so hungry. There's lots of grass over there. Oops, grass. across the river. And you know who guards the bridge? A big scary troll. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. I sure hope somebody crosses my bridge. I'm starving. Come closer, Goats. I got the plan. Yes. Amazing. Are you sure this will work? Just stick to the plan. Be careful. Who dad crip flops on my bridge? It's just me, the little belly goat. Ha! You foolish goat. Now I shall gobble you up. I'm too small to make a good dinner for a big girl like you. But don't worry, my sister will be coming soon. And she's bigger than me. Fine, little goat. I shall eat your big sister. Clip flop, clip flop, clip flop. Safe! Okay, my turn. You'll do great. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Ah, uh, me? I'm the medium-sized Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, you are much bigger than your little sister. Now I shall gobble you up. Wait, wait! If you want a really good meal, my big brother is coming and he's even bigger than me. He's huge and delicious like pepperoni pizza. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Fine, I shall eat your big brother. Clip, clop, clip, clop, safe! Okay, here I go. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Hi, I'm the big Billy Goat Gruff. Hmm. You are the perfect dinner for a big scary troll like me. Well, I'm big enough to know you shouldn't go around gobbling people up. Huh? And I'm also big enough to do this. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! And from then on, the three Billy Goats Gruff all the yummy green grass they could have. And that big scary troll never bothered them again. The end! Hey guys, wanna play again? Sure. Yeah, can I be the troll? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna be the big billy goat grass. I wanna be a billy goat too. Okay. Hi there. Today we're playing... Ladder Hunt! <laughs> okay, so today we have Mary. I love letters. Versus Johnny. I'm the fastest and the best. Ooga ooga. ooga. <laughs> All right, kids, get ready. Get set. Who can find something with the letter OK. 
Okay, Mary, let's see what you found. Leaf. Leaf starts with L. Ding, ding, ding. Very good, Mary. But I found a lawnmower. Lawnmower. That's way better than a leaf. Oh, lawnmower. That is a good L word. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Great. Who can find something that starts with the letter C? Good job, Johnny. What did you find that starts with the letter C? Kite. K -k -k kite starts with the letter C. I win. Uh oh. I'm afraid kite starts with the letter K. K and C make the same k sound. That one was tricky. Cat. I found a cat. K -k -k cat starts with C. I don't like this game. Don't give up, Johnny. How about we try again? Who can find something that starts with the letter B? Blanket monster. B -b -b Blanket monster starts with the letter B. I win. I didn't even get to run. Ooga booga! Us. We'll see, see you, you next, next time. time. Ooga, booga. <laughs> you can't catch me. Aha. Tag, you're it. Now I'm tired. Me too. Do you want to play something else? Sure. What should we play? about the five little fish. Okay, can I be the shark? Yeah, and I'll be the five little fish. Ready? Ready. Five little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Uh-oh, four little fish. Swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Three little fish, swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Two little fish, Swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. One little fish, swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. No more little fish? But don't worry, the five little fish came back with all their friends and told Mr. Shark they didn't like being snapped at. And Mr. Shark told all the fish that he didn't like being teased. And, and they, they all played, played together, together without any more fights. What do you want to play now? Let's see who can get more seashells. Okay. Spending a day at the beach is grand. Building a castle in the sand. Catching a wave in the salty sea. A seagull is flying over me. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. I erase.
face a crowd to its hiding place. I feel the warm sun on my face. I see starfish and sand dollars too, and a school of fish in a pool of blue. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. I hunt for treasures on the shore. I find one clam and then some more. I hold a seashell up to my ear. It whispers a story I long to hear. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. It's time to sing. Who would like to pick the first song? Ooh, me, me. Okay, Mary. What song should we sing first? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. That's a great choice. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. This song is boring. Let's play Blanket Monster. Like a diamond in the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Johnny! I'm Blanket Monster. Blanket Monster, you interrupted our song. Would you like to sing with us? How about you choose a song? I know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. That's a fun one. Let's try it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dropped the blue. Papa, Johnny's messing up our songs. Johnny, right now it's time to sing. Blanket Monster doesn't want to sing. He wants to scare people. Maybe we could sing a scary song. A song about Blanket Monster? There's no song about Blanket Monster. Oh, Blanket Monster. Would you like to hear your very own song? Okay. The monster on the bus goes Ooga booga, ooga booga. The monster on the bus goes ooga booga all through the town. Ooga booga! Way to go, Blanket Monster! I like this song. <laughs> hmm. S is for seeds. Nope. Guess again. You get one final guess, and you know it starts with S. Hey, that rhymes. S is for stinky sock. <laughs> is that it? No, ew. S is for submarine, silly. Well, Sailor, I think we run out of things in this playroom that start with S. Aha, but if the Mother Goose Club player set sail, I'm sure there's lots of things that we could find that start with S at sea. Aye, aye, Sailor. The sailors went to see, 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 to see what they could see, see, see. But all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Look, seaweed. Seaweed starts with S. And so does sea turtle. The sailors went to see, 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 to see what they could see, see, see. But all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Well played, sailor. I think I'm going to go find that shark costume now. Ooh, I want to be an orca whale next. Seven, 
Eight, nine, whoa! <laughs> Here, let me help. You know, this rope would be perfect for the lion and the mouse. I guess I'm the lion. I never get to be the lion. True. Your turn. Thanks. This is my nice comfy rock. Don't forget your mane. Roar! Squeak. It sure is nice being a big, strong lion. I think I'm going to lounge around and relax. I smell seeds. Oops! Roar! Who dares wake me up? A teeny mouse? I should gobble you up. No, no, please let me go. And I promise to help you whenever you need it. How is a teeny tiny mouse going to help a great big lion? You're a funny mouse. In fact, I think I'll let you go. Thank you, thank you. Your kindness won't be forgotten. Silly mouse, what's this? A hunter's trap. Quick, help me get trapped. Okay. Good? Perfect. Roar, roar, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck, help. The great lion cried out but not one animal in the jungle dared to help. No animal, that is, except the mouse, who had not forgotten the lion's kindness. Don't worry, lion, I'm here to help. Thanks, little guy, but if I can't get out of this trap, what are you going to do? I'll save you, just like you saved me. You really are funny. Aha! What? And that's our story. Of the lion and the mouse. The, the end. end. Hey, do you want to play jump rope? Yeah! You can go first. Thanks! Hello there. Let's see how many stuffed animals are on my bed. One, two, three. Today, I'm playing... Blanket Monster! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Booga booga! Johnny! Mary, are you okay? Papa, Johnny messed up my counting. Johnny, what do we say to Mary? Ooga booga. Let's try that again. Sorry, Mary. How about we see if I have enough apples for my pie? Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh, God. God. Johnny! I have an idea. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! ten. <laughs> Got you, Blanket Monster! Do I have my bow outside? Sure. I found so many shells. I found more. No way, I found more. Aha, I definitely found the most. Look, I found 10. 
I found a hundred. No, you didn't. Did too. Count them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, I found more. You count yours too. Fine. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh. I guess we both need a little more practice counting. Yeah. Let's do the seashell rhyme. Yeah. How many seashells can you see? How many seashells? One, two, three. Nice. Now, your turn. How many seashells can you see? How many seashells? One, two, three. Let's go higher. Okay. How many seashells can you mix? How many seashells? Four, five, six. Yup. Now I'm going to mix it up for you. How many seashells can you mix? How many seashells? Four, five, six. You think we can go even higher? Yeah. How many seashells can you find? How many seashells? Seven, eight, nine. You got it. Now your turn. How many seashells can you find? How many seashells? Seven, eight, nine. So we have nine seashells. What if we add one more? How many seashells? I see 10. Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seashells. What should we do now? Let's pretend I'm a mermaid. And I'm your little crab friend. Yeah. Hi! I'm playing Ocean Adventure with my friend. Do you want to play with us? Awesome! My friend is pretending to be a sea turtle. She's very shy, so sometimes she hides behind coral reef. I wonder where she is. Turtle, are you over here? What was that? Just the sound of waves, I guess. I wonder if she's over here. Hey! Do you guys see Turtle? Turtle, are you teasing me? Turtle, are you behind the seaweed? Boo! There you are. Do you want to do the turtle rhyme with me? Sure. And you can rhyme with us too. There was a little turtle. She lived in the sea. She swam in the waves. She swam past me. She snapped at a mosquito. She snapped at a flea. She snapped at a minnow. She even snapped at me. She caught the mosquito. 
She caught the flea. She caught the minnow. But she didn't catch me. I almost got you. Not a chance. Hey, do you want to play underwater tag? Not, Not it. Fine. I'll be it. But I'm changing costumes so you better swim fast. So fast. Here I come. Hi, Mother Goose Club. My name is Ruby, and today I'm making a pizza with my friends. What they don't know is that I'm going to be dressing up as Blanket Watcher and pranking them. <laughs> Let's make a pizza Roll out the dough Toss it up high Stretch it out slow Slow, slow Spread on tomato sauce Sprinkle on cheese Silly duck can't stop admiring himself in the mirror. Smug duck is very vain. What a lovely perfume! What could the little duckling be up to? <laughs> what a fiendish little duck! <laughs> be careful, smug duck! Very smug duckling very happily went for a walk. 
His tail was well perfumed. Boom bada doom bada doom. He crossed paths with a lady duck and wanted to win her affection. The lady duckling kept walking. Boom, bada doom, bada doom. <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> I got this. All right, and that goes there, and this goes there. Done! I win. I'm so fast, I'm like lightning. Slow down. You know what game I think we should play next? What? The tortoise and the hare? Look, I'm sorry for bragging. Look at me, I'm so fast. Have you ever seen anyone faster than me? I don't think so. Hi, hare. Tortoise, is that you? You are so slow, I thought you were a rock. How do you think your friends feel when you say they're slow? You always brag about how fast you are. I challenge you to a race. Are you joking? We'll race around the field to the finish line. We need a finish line. On it. I'll just plant these in the field. Now we're ready for the race. Come on, tortoise. On your mark. Get set, go! <gasps> wow, I'm fast. Hey, tortoise, did you give up yet? Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> You're so slow, I could eat all of this food and still win. Mm, looks quite delicious. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> hey, tortoise! You're so slow, I could take a nap and still win. All that food made me quite sleepy. Just one quick nap. I told you slow and steady would win the race. What? Huh? No! What? That's not fair. You might be fast. But you have a lot to learn about being a good friend. Good race. You know, he never gave up. Good race, my friend. And from then on, the tortoise and the hare became very best friends. The end. We should have a contest to see who can jump the highest. How about we just jump together? OK. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vaughn, and today I'm going to dress up as a blanket monster so I can scare my friends. I just scared one person. Now I will scare two more. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a booga booga. Ah! Wah ha 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 ha. I just
just scared two people. Now I will scare three more. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Booga, booga. Ah! Wah, ha, 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 ha. I just scared three people. Booga, ah! booga. Got you back. You sure did. You guys want to play Ford? Yeah, and we can use my blanket. Perfect. Bye, Bye Mother Goose, Goose Club. Hello, and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the epic tale of the brave knight and of the evil trolls. I am obviously the brave knight, and we are the evil trolls who get to capture the knight on the bridge and steal all of his armor. Places, everybody! I must cross this bridge to continue on my epic quest. Not if we have anything to say about it. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Hmm, a dangerous bridge indeed. I must be brave. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Ah, let me go! Ah, <laughs> let me go! <laughs> Not until you give us all of your <laughs> armor. But I'm on an epic quest! My armor. Then looks like you'll stay trapped forever. Hey, <laughs> 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 ah! Okay, okay. We surrender. We surrender. You are just too strong and too brave for us. We just wanted to be knights too. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? A knight must be strong and brave, but they also must be kind and fair. Why don't I share my armor with you? So we can all be nice. Yes, yes please. Yeah. Look at us. We're brave, strong knights. You'll have to behave like a knight, which means no more trapping people on bridges, okay? Okay. okay. Good luck on your epic quest. Thanks. Bye, Bye Mother Goose Club. Swim closer, children. I have a story for you. Story time! <laughs> tell it, tell it. I will, I will. Okay, once upon a time, very, very deep in the clear blue sea, there lived a little mermaid. I know the story. Maybe, but this story has been told by humans and merfolk for hundreds of years, and every time it's told, it's a little bit different. Tell it, please. <laughs> okay, so this little mermaid lived with her big sisters and her father. King Triton, ruler of the ocean. That's right. Her father ruled over all the creatures of the ocean. That is, except the wicked sea witch who was jealous of his power. Now, this little mermaid was a bright, thoughtful girl who was always asking questions about the world above the ocean. She carefully collected and studied all of the land objects that sank down to the ocean floor, like a ship's anchor, a fork, and especially a statue of a boy who had no fish tail, but instead two long legs on which to stand. At last, the Little Mermaid came of age and was allowed to rise up and explore the surface of the ocean. And there, she saw an enormous ship where a human prince was celebrating his birthday as well. As the Little Mermaid watched in wonder, a terrible storm struck and the crashing waves knocked the prince from his ship. But the brave little mermaid battled the waves and swam with the prince to a nearby beach. 
Once the prince was safe on shore, the little mermaid sang him a song more beautiful than any human had ever heard before. But just as the prince was about to open his eyes, a search party of humans arrived and the little mermaid leapt back into the sea. So the prince never got to see who saved his life. That's right. But the prince was determined to find this brave young woman whose beautiful voice he would never forget. And the little mermaid who had also fallen in love with the prince was now more determined than ever to find a way to live on land. Sea witch. <laughs> That's right. The little mermaid went to the sea witch and begged her for a way to become human. The sea witch agreed to give the little mermaid legs, but only if the little mermaid gave the witch her beautiful voice. And worse, if the prince did not return the little mermaid's love and ever married another, the little mermaid would have to return to the ocean and belong to the sea witch forever. Why would she agree to that? Well, the Little Mermaid was brave and determined, and she might not have thought through all of the bad things that could happen. Plus, she was in love. Ew! <laughs> in any case, the Little Mermaid agreed to the Sea Witch's deal and was given legs. And finally able to leave the ocean, the Little Mermaid was thrilled to be able to explore the wide world above. She met the prince, who thought that there was something special about this young woman. Although she could no longer speak to tell the prince that she was the one who saved his life. Still, the prince welcomed the little mermaid into his palace, where he was struck by her kindness, her sense of humor, and especially her interest in absolutely everything. Uh-oh. That's right. The sea witch grew worried that the prince would marry the little mermaid, so she used her wicked magic to give a visiting princess the little mermaid's voice. And upon hearing that beautiful voice, the prince thought that he had found the young woman who saved his life, and so he made plans to marry the human princess. Couldn't she write him a note or draw a picture or something? Well, the Little Mermaid did have one possibility. The Little Mermaid's sisters had gone to the Sea Witch and given her all of their beautiful hair in exchange for a dagger, which the Little Mermaid could use to stab the human princess and stop the wedding. But even though the Little Mermaid knew that she would have to return to the ocean and belong to the Sea Witch, the Little Mermaid was not hurt the human princess. On the day of the wedding, the Sea Witch came to claim the Little Mermaid. But the brave Little Mermaid used the magical dagger to stab the Sea Witch. And with that blow, the Sea Witch lost her power over the Little Mermaid and her voice returned. And the prince realized that it was the Little Mermaid who had saved him. And together, they battled the Sea Witch. The Sea Witch was defeated. That's right. The Little Mermaid was able to stay human, and she and the prince became wonderful rulers over their kingdom on land. But they also liked visiting her family's kingdom under the sea. And they lived happily ever after? <laughs> yes, they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> mm, that story was okay. Do you know any scarier ones? Hmm. Well, once upon a time... Uncle Brad! Booga booga! 
very scary. Let's go. Monster is so much fun! Uncle Bray! Do you know what else we can do with these blankets? What? What? Who wants to build a blanket board? Me! <laughs> Thanks Bye. for playing today! Bye. Bye. Bye! Mother Goose Club Playhouse!